children would have been at an auditorium at school. Parents would have been there jumping up off the floor because I got to see it every time. In church,
having a nice position. Uh, Eric and I purchased our home. Well, it was all good up until um, uh, I ended up losing the job at at, uh, at Exxon Mobil. Uh, so no more paint pipes and that kind of nature. Uh, so things got real. They got real and they got real, real quick. So here it is. I think we have been in our house uh, probably two years or so. So um, what we've done, uh, now all of this is in the class and I mean, this, this is going to be a master class. Um, so what we ended up doing is that we took four barons and stuff from our house, meaning that we didn't have to pay our bills for an extended period of time. Uh, what ended up coming about is that um, uh, uh, when all of that was due, uh, four barons and stuff was over, then uh, money is due today, right? Uh, that was during the time frame that I ended up jumping in the truck, starting at Stevens, and I was traveling across the country for three years. Uh, and everything that we attempted to do working with our mortgage company, uh, uh, everything that we've done working with our mortgage company, uh, what they were doing was uh, they would ask us for all of this information, to gather all of this information together, and then when we give them the information, uh, they wait till uh, the last moment of the time frame and then hit us up and tell us, oh, we're missing this, or your bank statements and stuff need to be within the two weeks. We send everything in at the beginning of the month. And toward the end of the month, they'll tell us so what it is that we had to start the entire process over. Uh, if you purchase a home, uh, the process was almost like buying a house. And here it is, we went through this probably four times, five times. Uh, so what they end up doing is that they put a notice into the bank and stuff for foreclosure. Uh, so when they put a notice into the bank and stuff for foreclosure, uh, now our back is really up against the wall. So there are so many things you can do. Uh, either you come up with all of the money, or if you uh, if you know the game, if you're going to play the game, you get in the game. Mm -hmm. So what have we done? Uh, contrary to popular belief, Eric and I filed bankruptcy. All right, when we filed bankruptcy, uh, it shut everything down that everybody was trying to do with us. It shut everything down. They can't do this, they can't go through foreclosure, this and that. So what it is is that we went on and signed up for a five-year time frame uh, where we can't use credit. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't get anything in our name. We can't do anything of the sort for five years. Fine and then, not a bad thing. So what it is is that we lumped every debt that we had into this, even things that didn't really need to go into it. Now I'll put it in there too. So we got this big gumbo of debt and what it is that we've, uh, for five years, we only paid one amount. Mm -hmm. That takes care of all the back stuff, and then at the same time, still paying our mortgage on our house. Mm -hmm. So in the process of doing that, uh, we didn't lose our house. Uh, we already had everything that we wanted or desired and all this other kind of stuff, so I really don't need credit for, uh, you know, I've just been cashing out. So uh, uh, one of the biggest things about this is that when you mention it to people, that don't understand what uh, bankruptcy is. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two types of bankruptcy. One, they take everything from you and they clear all your debt off and this and that. Well, we didn't want to do that because if this thing is about stewardship, it's not about running from the debt, but it's actually paying the debt back. So in the process of doing uh, uh, the bankruptcy, uh, uh, truck paid off, car paid off, every bill that we had is paid off. So I think January or something like that, January or February, we'll be done with, with our bankruptcy. So at that particular time, I can deal with a lower credit score at this time because I can't buy anything and put anything in my name. Yeah. All right. My plan and desire is to get my own rig, uh, put right my own train, right right my own thing. So right right now. Now. Once, uh, uh, once we get done, then uh, being that everything that we had as far as our debt and stuff is concerned, everything, I mean, our credit scores and stuff is just going to shoot up. Mm -hmm. so we'll be able to get anything that we want as far as uh, credit is concerned. Yeah. But what has to happen within that particular time frame, what's happened for the past five years, is being able to be physically responsible and responsible with money. That what it is is that being that I have to do everything in cash. What? Yeah. Yeah. Pay as you go so you never owe. 
increases. Yeah. Our debt still remains down here. Yeah. yeah. Try attending. Right. But anyway, it uh I just want to say that that when it comes down to it, uh uh Ben that I know how how we think uh being black as I am. <laughs> being that I know how uh how we think and what it is is that I find it purposeful now because who knows what may happen. But now within this particular body, amen, there's someone who has went through it who can walk you through it and just let you know that, amen, this, this ain't bad. Yeah. This ain't bad. Yeah. Now what it is, amen, you're going you gonna to pay everything back, but they're just going to stretch it out. Yeah, they're just going to stretch it out and everybody get a little bit every month. But the thing is, you don't lose anything. Yeah, you don't lose anything. And that's how... Uh, that's how you see me, that, that I can go out here to these nurseries and, and pick up some plants and grow trees and all this other kind of stuff. Yeah, because I got, I got the money, the money to free up. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But, um, yeah, that's my, uh, I guess that's the only I don't want to share you that, you know, sharing with you guys as far as when it comes down to finance, that when things don't go as planned, there are other avenues and alternatives and stuff that you can do that allow you to keep and you don't lose anything. Yeah, you don't you don't lose. I, I haven't I haven't you know I haven't even lost sleep. Yeah, I haven't even lost sleep. So what it is that uh, and I'm still sleeping in my house. Let me share this right quick. My, my father, 
had a deacon and uh, he wanted to get off the deacon board. And uh, he said, well, what, what is it? What's, what's going on? He said, uh, my daughter is pregnant. He said, are you pregnant? <laughs> he said, no, I'm not pregnant. He said, your daughter is pregnant. He said, yeah, well, the question of it is, did you teach her? Did you develop her? Did you give her necessary information that she need not to fall into that arena? He said, yeah. He said, well, you're not pregnant. You don't need God to be That's a show. And that's the difference when we're not taught and when we make choices. Amen. 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 And see, people laugh at me on Sunday when I make choice. I go out the door, I hit my bang and don't do that. And they just come on. And you know. But hey, I just I'm trying to try to play as I go. <laughs> Come, come on, right there. Let me, let me get out because y'all solid. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Death coming jam coming up there. Do the run to 818. I'm just about to.
he a power to gain wealth. Right. If God gives power to gain wealth, yeah. and you're the person out there that he gives power to, and you don't have the power, and you don't have no wealth, what's up with you? <laughs> so now with that. Yes, sir. Let's walk through this. If he gives me power to gain wealth, and I don't have it, it's because I don't want it. If he give it to me, he don't have to have the big me take it. Yeah. I'm, 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 y'all pray for me because I'm, I'm bad at that. You know why? Because let me tell you, givers are the most horrible receivers Amen. that ever in this world. Amen. They want to pay, they want to test everybody else. I'm going to this workshop. Going to this workshop is uh, it's a uh, uh, what's that thing you go to when you got an addiction or something? Rehab. Rehab. I'm, I'm going to rehab, and I'm going to rehab, but they gonna teach me. Give me that, give me that, give me, give me, give me that. Today, 
not necessarily where your plan is. But it's to a length. But you have to go through the process. This, this, this. The first thing that is is that you can take it personal because it don't have anything to do with you. I mean, you're not in the mix. You just have to be hanging around. This covenant, what God's talking about, this don't have nothing to do with you. See, this was made for, to your ancestors. Yeah. This is a covenant that God made. Yeah. And it's not a covenant, you know, this is not the covenant that you signed, you know, for 72 months. Yeah. And you can't see for 72 yeah. months. That, that's not the covenant. <laughs> this is not a 48 month covenant. That's not what this is. Yeah. This covenant is an everlasting covenant. Oh, this yeah. is a blood covenant. Oh, yeah. And the blood covenant, that's what they did. They cut each other. And if we had a blood covenant relation between the brothers up in this church, all of us would cut our hands. And we would and we would bleed blood and we would take their blood and match it against our blood. And that would be a blood covenant relationship that could not be broken because they were designed in blood. What God promised to do for you is designed in blood. He promised to bless you, to sustain you, to put you in the hand of And you need that for blood. This blood covenant relationship. That, 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 that Hebrew word is called berith. Berith means that the only reason I was able to get where I'm at is because the Lord has helped me. Yeah, I, we, 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 we finna get a glass, a glass pole. And so you won't be freaking out. Uh, I thought what I do is I introduce it this morning. Yeah. So when you see Barit on the front, that's all gonna be on. <laughs> when you see Barit, you already know what it is. It's gonna mean that the Lord has helped. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you look around this congregation, don't nobody have that The Lord. Oh yes, sir. Yeah. When people have walked out the door, you know the Lord has helped us. When this building is scot free, you will know the Lord has helped us. So when you see this glass pump in there and you see Barit on the front of it, you ain't got to ask nobody about it. Wherever you are, the Lord has helped me. Oh, yes, yes. That body, oh, yes. the Lord. Yes. That mind, yes. the Lord. Yes. That talent, oh, the Lord. Yes. That intuitiveness, yes. the Lord. That entrepreneurship, the Lord. Say how, say how cold, how cold the Lord. When I came to Beaumont in 1996, God was so cold, he said, look, I'm going to introduce you to something in 96 yeah. that you're going to need in 2005. Oh, man. I said, what? <laughs> I said, you cold. Yeah, you cold, though. He had me to meet a woman yeah. in 1996. Yeah. That I was trying to be small and yeah. you know, yeah. talk back because you know, I already had some stuff going. Yeah. So you know, I'm back. I don't get a you know, me. I don't man. Yeah. And she said something so good word, fool him, I'm trying to bless you. Y'all y'all caught that bit. Everybody bring okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was my time. Yeah, I, 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 she, she trying to speak something to my spirit. She trying to give me something that God has prepared her to do. She trying to make sure that she wrapped me up in the confirmation that God has already made. And I'm sitting there trying to act that I don't need Yeah, I got it. I, 
Yeah, yeah. And, and I turn around and listen to what she said. Mm. And you die.
God's purpose is to bless us and sustain us and put us in overflow and the land of plenty because no other way can we further the kingdom than that. God's plan is not for us to sell properties and sell uh, 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 raffle off stuff and candy and cookies. You can't go to war for us. You can't go to my before big and come back to church. That's not the plan God had. Yeah. And I don't want them to folk, I tell them, if you pastor would teach you about tithing, mm -hmm. y'all church would have to do. It's a disgrace to God and a detriment to the church when we were outside the boundaries and do what God is supposed to do and don't do what God said. It ain't God's fault that your mother is closed. He told you how to keep it open. <laughs> listen, listen. He, he does that because this is where he expects to get, get his money. If he don't bless you and you are the church, the first thing is, if you ain't going to give money, then you ain't the church no way. Because his purpose is to give you money. Mm. Yeah. Will you open this word up one more time? <laughs> Come on. I'm preaching. I'm preaching if I have to recognize myself. Verse 18. That he may accept the covenant with those who have to the Father that is in that day. He gave, he give us money that we can further the advancement of the kingdom of God. That's right. yeah. Yes, sir. When people won't listen to your preaching, they'll listen to a story. Yeah. So let me give you a story. Once upon a time, I had a pool in, in the back of my house. The pool in the back of my house would have water, and there's a line that which the water should operate because it would drain down into the buckets and go back into the line, and it would prime itself on the pump. When that water would lose and go along the line, then air would get in the pump, and I had to open, cut the water off, open the lid, put water in there, fill a strainer up, and then close it back up, and that the suction. Sometimes it took more than one time to prime the pump up back in the Right, right. When I would prime it back up and put it back on, after two or three times, I would turn it, and the pump would start to generate again, and everything would go as smooth as though it never dropped before. Fill the water line back up. Fill the strain up. Turn the pump on. And then the prime is set. That's a lesson about true and good. But it does not equate with God. Because God line can never go too low. Well, it will lose.